about Islam is that Islam is promoted at the point of the sword that Muslims are required to forcibly convert other people that once people become Muslims then they are not at the liberty to leave the faith. Uh, people often cite uh, the example of certain regimes in the Middle East and elsewhere uh, who do not allow religious freedom within their boundaries and uh, they say that uh, because of them look is your religion does not allow freedom of religion uh, it is an oppressive faith however all this is a misconception and it is due to uh, a non appraisal of the Quranic ruling about this matter if one were to study the Quran thoroughly they will discover that the Quran allows complete religious freedom to an individual. We are free to believe or not to believe in this world. Uh, God Almighty has given us this freedom and uh, the Quran is full of passages which say uh, this uh, in very clear terms. For example, in Surat Al-Baqarah, which is chapter number 2 and verse number 256, it is said, La ikrah fit deen, let there be no compulsion in deen. In other words, uh, Muslims are ordered that they are not to use compulsion in matters pertaining to religion or to advance their faith. In Surah Al Kahf, which is chapter number 18 and verse number 29, it is clearly said, Say the truth is from your Lord. So let him who wills believe and let him who wills disbelieve. Very clearly, in no ambiguity at all, a person is free to believe or to disbelieve, according to this verse. In chapter number 10, Surah Al Yunus, and verse number 99, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about him, the God Almighty addresses him and he says, if your Lord had willed, everyone on earth, all of them all together, would have been believers. Will you then force people against their will to believe? So very clearly the Prophet was told that it is not the will of God that everybody on earth becomes a believer. God Almighty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a free will to every human being to believe or not to believe. And believers are not allowed to forcibly convert other people. They are to present their faith, they are to present their beliefs to others and the others are to rationally evaluate that belief and rationally see whether the message has any good for them and they are to accept it of their own free will and if they do not accept it then the believers are not to use force this is clearly stated in not one or two but in many many passages of the Quran in Surah Al-Qaf which is chapter number 50 verse number 45 the Prophet وسلم, was clearly commanded by God Almighty we know full well what these people say. وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِجَبَّارٍ And you, O Muhammad, are not to use force on them. وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِجَبَّارٍ You are not to use force on them. فَذَكِّرْ بِالْقُرْآنِ مَنْ يَخَافُ عِيدٍ But admonish by the Qur'an whoever fears my promise. So this was the conduct of the Prophet, that he was not forceful upon people, he used to admonish by the Quran, he used to give the message of the Quran and people used to understand what the message is and accept it out of their own free will. So this has been the practice, the true practice of the Prophet and as Muslims we are to follow the same footsteps.